see. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily Rose um, and also my Instagram is at almostgrownup underscore for some of you who don't know my actual name because it was funny I got a message the other day that said hi almost grown up and it was an actual person so yeah just so you all know my name is Emily Rose. So today is quite an exciting video. Um, I'm gonna show you and give you a house tour of exactly what our house looks like currently. The difference with our house is that it is a military housing in this, and what that means is when you're married to somebody in the military, you apply for a house, usually about four weeks before you get married, and then you move into your house two weeks before you get married. This is what we were told. So we were told we weren't allowed to live in the premises until we were married. But when we moved in, the lady was like, oh no, you can stay here now. And we were like, what? So, cause we'd booked an Airbnb at the time. So we were a bit like, oh, we didn't know this. So we've tried our very best. We've been in the house now, I think for about seven weeks in total. Um, we're trying slowly but surely to make it into a home. Now, there is a few things. I suppose it's very much like rental accommodation in the sense that you're only allowed to do so much with the house. So a lot of the fixture and fittings within the house, um, so say that will give us the opportunity to have photos on the walls, mirrors on the walls, um, but anything that we add, we have to then remove it before we leave. Same thing with the carpet. I had a real bugbear with the carpet, which I will explain. Um, as we're doing the tour um, but you aren't allowed to move the carpet if you do you have to take it all up again same with the walls as you can see there are lovely magnolia behind me and um, most people it's not to their taste but we've tried to make sure that it doesn't affect it when we decorate it um, and make it feel all homely um, we've tried to embrace the fact that we have magnolia walls and there's nothing we can really do about it um so yeah so fingers crossed you enjoy the tour if you do please please like and subscribe the video i will leave my instagram on the bottom which is at almost grown up underscore um i'm really grateful for everyone who is continuing to follow my instagram and enjoying the fact that i am now trying to do a youtube slowly but surely um so yes yeah, so here goes nothing. Hello, hello. Um, we are stood as we walk through the front door. So I wanted, because we've got kind of like, what's it called? It's not double fronted, but we've got where we can put our shoes and things. Now currently it is a bit of a mess. I have like cleaned the whole house, but this particular place, it's been so rainy and we've taken the dog on a run on the field over the past couple of days and our shoes are literally wringing wet. So don't judge. <laughs> But it is a bit of a mess, I'm not happy. So let me show you. So as you walk through our front door, you will see all things to do with love because we are a bit sappy in that sense that we like everybody to feel the love. This is my favorite thing. This was bought, bought for us um, when we moved in. And then if we walk through here, you will see it looks like we've got kids because there's so many shoes, but literally I've been running in the forest. But this is one thing that I absolutely love. So all our shoes actually go in there when it's a nice day and you can sit on it and it's just brilliant. So obviously we've got like the keys, that's where um, we put our keys and then we've got the rose and yeah, and it's just been my birthday and it looks like Alex has missed something. So this is as you walk into our house. So hello and welcome. I'm going to pretend that this is the start of it um, of the YouTube video, even though you've had a little bit of an introduction. Um, so let me just go into the light because it's a bit dark. Here we go. So we close over this and we are now in our corridor. Now, with the corridor itself, um, it has some things that I want to add to it. I don't know if I want to add things like a table into it with like flowers. I'm not entirely sure exactly, but bear in mind, we are new to this house thing. So as yeah, let's walk me into the house. As you can see, it's a lot of woodwork, which at first I wasn't so happy about. And I was like, oh God, it's so old school. 
But I finally come around to it and thought it's actually quite nice. Now, as I spoke about before, the carpet. This was my bugbear. Now, I've grown up with wooden laminate flooring or natural wood floors. And this just wasn't something that I was open to. When I first saw a first house, it had red carpets. And I was like, no, they're getting ripped up. But actually, I don't know if you can see on here, it's like a mint. So I'm trying to embrace it. It's like really difficult. Now I wanted this to be quite cute. So I've added some things that we got running up to the wedding and the engagement party. So this is a an actual character of <laughs> caricature, can you say? But with class. Um, and then over there is a photo of me and my mum. Now the best thing about this is you have a downstairs toilet. So in this house itself, you walk in now this toilet hasn't probably been renovated for a very long time um this isn't something we can do we have to keep it as it is so we've decided to go with the theme in this toilet as um gray um mainly because it's so small and i just think bright colors will be lost in it the curtains will be replaced um, and I've added a print onto it as well. So come on, open mind people, open mind. So this is just our small downstairs toilet. Added some gray bits into it as you can see. Got some prints, all about the quotes. And yeah, the curtains. My biggest bugbear about this house is that all the curtains look like they're from the 1950s. But yet again, I'm embracing it. So now let me take you into my favourite room and the room that we spend the most time in. Um, the one thing about this house is that I love how open plan it is, especially downstairs. Um, so we're about to go into the living room um, and I will tell you where things are from and the inspiration behind it. And we're going to see our little friend Seth, he's very tired because we've just taken him for a run. This so is our living room with my new friend Ted over there. So as you can see, we've tried our very hardest to make sure it's whether or not I can get the best angle on this. Um, so let me go back. So this is our living room. The sofas are from sofaclub.co.uk. I was a bit sceptical, but then I saw so many people that I knew were getting them and I was like, oh, maybe I should. And it, they are so reasonably priced. Now I wanted some more quotes on here. So I love these frames. These frames are from The Range um, and the prints are from Etsy. Um, and they were so easy, I think they were like a five at each, maybe cheaper. Um, obviously, I love a throw. So this one's from DKNY. I think it goes so well with it. And then this one is from B&M. The majority of our house seems to be from B&M, but I love it because, you know, who doesn't love a bargain? This table itself, is from B&M <laughs> and you will see here oh hey this mirror I love it it brings it just oh just love it just love it so much um and then obviously we've got this here now this particular one was this used to be black we got some paint well my mum got some paint and painted it and it just looks so rustic and so nice now I'm obsessed with this rug, which actually was Alex's. Um, so we've embraced, and then the curtains. So as you can see, it's quite big windows. Um, the best thing about it is that you don't need to close them so soon in the evening. The light just comes in, it just makes the room bigger and brighter. Now these curtains themselves, they are so pretty. Let me show you them. Now at first, see what they look like. So at first, I really, really wanted like crushed velvet. I was so, so like, I want everything crushed velvet. And my mum came and we were talking about it and crushed velvet actually wouldn't have made the room as big and lovely as it is. Um, so I decided because Miss Scotland may, may as well embrace the print which is, you know, what they put on their kilts and things like that. So, yeah, so what I love about the curtains, I love the fact that they're floor length. And as you can see, you actually forget the colour of the actual um, root of the carpet itself. Carpet's green, something I'm just going to have to get over, really, which I am slowly doing. I also want to show you my lamp. I absolutely 
absolutely adore my lamp. It's so slim, simplistic, but beautiful. It's actually from Asda, and I think it was 20 quid. I mean, come on, who doesn't love a bargain? So now, let me show you, actually, let me show you this room from this angle. So that is the living room you will always find that i have candles on wax melts on the whole house will constantly smell nice the only thing the reason is that i never went to the room the no offense to little sethy over there hey boo he's knockout bless him um the only thing the reason is i have so much candles on plugins etc etc i had such a phobia that the house would smell like dog and it's quite a wet place where we live so i never wanted it to smell like wet dog but it doesn't and it smells absolutely delicious so i am obsessed with my living room and everyone that comes in doesn't expect it to look like this so it's quite nice when people walk yeah, in as you can see yeah. i've got my birthday um balloon there now this <laughs> it's a not even a funny story i don't know why i've started laughing this table now if tables could talk people this table was given to us by my auntie and my uncle um and it used to be theirs when they first moved into their house and then they obviously as you can see it's in fantastic nick and i was just like oh. so that i was like what we're gonna do um, dining room was I was like, so what are we going to do? And then they offered this. It's for six people so we can have dinner parties and things like that. So I wanted, obviously this is not how, you see a lot of people that have got houses that now go for like, um, the, like the silver crushed velvet. But with this house, I don't think a lot of crushed velvet would go with it. So I decided to add a bit of crushed velvet into this room and gone for this lampshade which is pink which actually goes really nice with the carpet and these amazing curtains which were if i can go close to them as you can see it's got gorgeous print on it which were actually my mum's and she knew they'd go perfect with the house itself now moving on from i'm obsessed with rose gold if i can show you i am obsessed so this nice rose gold um clock it's a clock emily <laughs> um is from asta so it was really nice and obviously we've got all here usually i have flowers but you know when you just think to yourself i'm not buying myself flowers i've got a husband so i'm hoping he buys me flowers soon. <laughs> he did actually throw and i got this from the range um oh i'm just obsessed with it so i added wedding photos on and it just makes the room bigger. Now, what I want to add in this room is, as you can see in the corner, that would be where my Christmas tree is going, without a doubt. But I do want a lamp in either this corner or this corner, because I think that it will just make the room brighter, or even this corner. So, as you can see, it's huge. Like, the front of this house, look how big it is if I show you. Like, it's so open plan, and it gives us so many opportunities, and sometimes things can get lost in rooms, and that's not something we want. Um, so, yes, that's that, which I just love the downstairs. Now, we're going to my favourite place in the whole house. It is the living room, but I also absolutely adore my kitchen. I've got a wash on. <laughs> it should be ending. It's been on for hours. Did I put on the right one? I think so. So, let me show you my kitchen. This is my kitchen. I'm sorry, but I just wanted it to be so homely and for it to be so amazing. There's another wax melt. And I've gone for like marble. Obviously, you've got to kind of make it so it's going with all the wood and things like that. So, as you can see, obviously, I had to get a coffee machine, which I will explain um, shortly. More rose gold. But this is what draws people in our kitchen. So, I just love it. And what I wanted um, is for people to be like, oh, Emily's cooking again. And I've excelled, really have excelled with cooking. I love it, just love it. So, as you can see behind me, that is a print that says, in this house we dance in the kitchen. I wanted a few prints throughout the whole of the, um, each room or photos just to make it that homely feel um i think you get that in this kitchen 
a lot of people we hang out in this kitchen more than we do in the living room and dining room um so that's that's obviously quite nice to have. um yeah so that's one print that we've got we've obviously behind me got the polaroids which i got off picks and packs and i think it's like you just pay for the delivery i think that's how it was but it was really good um i've also got something that my friend made for me can you see that the cross stitch now that says emily and alex engaged eighth of july again something personal but the best bit about my whole kitchen is the coffee machine let me show you this bad boy just look at it so for any of you who don't know or haven't followed my instagram which i really think you should is I am obsessed with coffee and I used to also work in hospitality. So obviously when you work in hospitality, especially in hotels, you need to know how to make a latte cappuccino. This does exactly what a coffee machine in Costa does. It is amazing. Now we have Costa coffee granules, obviously. Um, I just love it. It's just amazing and I love the retro feel of it as well. Obviously there's our coffee menu. This is like, moves and whatever but yeah there's my eggs and then I am an organizational freak and I like to organize the meals I haven't done it yet because it's Sunday so that's when I do it and then even more so I organize everyone's week including the dog so yeah this is my kitchen and I love it so yeah so let's take you upstairs, upstairs. now I know Alex is in <laughs> but he won't be getting involved in this video and i see if he could smell the house it just smells amazing <laughs> so this is our bathroom we went for a mustard and gray theme so let me show you so obviously candle on again so we went for a mustard and gray three theme i wanted it quite bright now this is a brand new bathroom um, that was installed just before we got into the house so we don't have to worry about the fact that someone else has been on it or anything like that um so this i love this bathroom and i think it's a good size i've see got the rug so everything from here in here is like obviously got the mustard bin that's from b&m b&m <laughs> bit of asda can you tell i live near asda um and then tk maxx are where i get all my candles um but yeah i just love this it's nothing much really that you can say the only thing that i want to add in here i would love to add up like some prints there because i feel like that's a burr wall um and also i'd want one of those things for like going across the bath just you know especially because i'm self-employed i'd love just to have my laptop there but you know we will eventually do that and things like that so let's show you a few more now we have to be quiet because we're outside a very important room this is alex's man cave and this is all i could show you i never go in this room only to find the dog he has his own little corner in there but i have never touched that room like ever it's got a little single bed in it um which is really cute obviously we don't need that right now um but yeah that's alex's man cave he's in there right now probably on wow or tropicana i think it's called but anyway let's go into the master bedroom so this is our bedroom right so i love how big our bedroom is it is gorgeous as you can see we've gone for the blush and the gray theme splash bit of white in there as well now this bed was from b&m which was only 99 pound what a bag um i wanted again some prints so that's coco chanel quote i don't do fashion i am fashion and this pretty much sums up everyone's life just wing it life eyeliner everything so i did i loved i mean obviously you can tell it's such a big space this room like i just didn't want to like, I, I probably will add so much. So this little babe is here. This is from Wayfair. I'm obsessed. And then this was also from Wayfair too. Now, things that I am going to change. 
these are defo going. I want floor lengths. I kind of think I either want blush or grey. Um, but yeah, and then I want to add more photos into here. I potentially think a chair would look really cute behind the door. Um, and yeah, I just want to add more. Like, it's such a big space. I don't want it to go to waste. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Now let me show you the spare bedroom. Now the spare bedroom, when no one's here, we do put our washing in it on the maiden. Come on, I'm not going to... Trying to be insta but it's just not working. But yeah, so this is the spare bedroom. We, we really liked the mustard theme. So I went for it in here, mainly because when we moved in, we had a brown chest of drawers which i will show you um the brown chest of drawers just goes really well with like the mustard so in here you will see it's quite empty at the moment um this was our like last room to do so to speak so let me show you it so it's smaller than the master bedroom as you can see and obviously they're, they're huge drawers so alex keeps all his stuff in here um we've got I've tried to make it as like welcoming as I can. I've got a candle, some prints from the wedding. Um, and on the thing, you know, like a reed, a, a reed diffuser. Obviously, I really don't like the curtains. They were with us. Oh, hey. They were with us um, when we moved in. That's something that we will change. Love the bedding. Um, love that this, because it gets really cold. So I thought, oh, that's really nice. But yeah, so that is our house. I'll show you our garden as well. Um, let's go downstairs again. Honestly, I really want you all to smell my house because it smells amazing if I say so myself. <laughs> um, let's go and show you this fabulous garden. Are you awake now? Oh, darling. Are you gonna say hi to all the queens? Oh, come here. Yeah. No, he's defo tired every time we take him for a walk. So he just sleeps and sleeps. So this is our garden. We've not done anything because it's so wet and rainy, but I do have a gardener who started two weeks ago and he's just making sure that it's all okay, the grass and he's doing stuff with the grass, but he's doing a good job. So I haven't questioned it. So let me show you a huge garden absolutely massive garden and alex's i mean seth's favorite place look at this this is a wedding present from one of our groomsmen so the garden goes all the way down here it's just huge and i can't wait so in the summer i do have a plan so in the summer i want like a table and chairs out here and i'd love an egg chair in the corner over there i think by the summer our grass will be maintained and look really nice and when that's blossoming that tree that'll look so beautiful um but it's just me it's just a wet time of the year isn't it seth you love the garden don't you he loves he literally usually when it's a nice day i will just leave oh. I will just leave the back door open and he'll just play for hours while I'm in the kitchen cooking. Hey! So, yeah, that's our house. So I hope you all loved it. And we are really happy you could visit us. Hey! Aren't you? Are you happy? You're happy everyone could visit? <laughs> Say thank you for visiting hope you enjoyed the house tour um please like and subscribe you know the score and i will tag everything below